It's time for base reviews. What's up, guys? It's me, Malt. Welcome back once again to another episode of base reviews. That's right. I am going to be reviewing y'all's bases. I have four bases today um, to go over. One thing that I really want you guys to realize is that I've looked at a lot of your bases and they've either been destroyed or you're reorganizing them or you're not in the same clan. Um, so if I don't get to your base a lot of the times, that is why. I apologize for that. But yeah, just make sure that you stay in that clan because if you leave your clan, then there's no chance of me uh, finding your base. So I'm just going to go around and collect my resources, even though I don't really have to. All right, so searching clans. First clan, Noteworthy Farms. Um, and I'm doing videos of this because uh, some of you said that you didn't like the picture route of it. Um, so yeah, I'm doing it like this. I hope that you all like it. I believe this is this last one, and the guy's name is Carl. So here you are, Carl. Good. I went to your base like twice, and you had some weird message on it. Whatever. Um... So, now here we go, reviewing your base. Alright, so, um, oh, Town Hall Level 7. It actually looks really good for Town Hall Level 7. Your stuff's upgraded really, really well. Um, level 5 Mortars, I love to see that. Level 4 Wizard Tower is an awesome job. These air defenses are upgraded really well, um, as well. I do like to see those within the walls. Um, since you are Town Hall Level 7, you don't have as many walls to spend. Um, so you can't put your air defenses too much deeper um, in your base unless you want to switch them out with maybe the elixir collectors but um, from the look of things you're probably researching actually you're not researching anything right now it doesn't look like um, use that elixir to research <laughs> um, alright so back to the base though it looks really good all your walls are upgraded really well I love the layout of it good job of having your clan castle in here in the middle love seeing archers in it I only ask for archers in my clan castle um, they're just a really effective troop, whether it's on offense or defense. Um, so, good job with that. Um, it's, it's really good to see Clan Castle centralized. As you can see, the ring, it covers the entire base. So, um, anyone who, who is in an active clan, um, put your Clan Castle in the middle. It's really, really going to help protect everything. Um, looks like your cannons are all level 8. Wow. Yeah, dude, you're crushing it. Um, good job. I mean, there's really nothing, nothing else I can say about this base. I like to see these little gaps in here. Um, it looks like you probably have spring traps in there to work on the giants. Um, so good job with that. I really don't have anything else to say. I would, I would give this um, an A plus out of letters. <laughs> so good job with that. All right, Carl, awesome job. Nice base. Love it, man. Um, let's move on to game master. Um, and it was, shoot, was it the top one? I think it was. Crap, well, here we go. Here I am being a noob, um, trying to figure out which one it is. I think it's this one, the one with the most uh, number of people in it. All right, so let's go down and find ALB. There he is, ALB77. <clears throat> Yeah, woo, base reviews. All right, so Town Hall level 8, all gold all gold walls for the most part is what I noticed first. Definitely work on getting those up. As you get up, those are very, very important. Otherwise, people can just crush you with their higher level wall breakers. Um, so definitely upgrade those. Um, this is, looks like a trophy base, but you're only at 1,100 um, because your base is pretty much, your town hall is pretty much centralized. You got to move your clan castle inside the walls, man. You got archers in there right now. If anything, trade that out with the town hall because you're not high in trophies at this point. Um, if you are trophy hunting, you can leave it in there, but it doesn't look like you are. So switch those out. Um, I think that'll be a really, really good move for you. Um, level three, level four. And then that one's going up to level four. Good. Definitely keep upgrading those. Um, mortars at level five. Oh, there's a level six. Good job on the splash damage. Um, definitely keep upgrading the wizard towers because those are probably my favorite defense in the game just because they, they just do work. Um, yeah, they, that's pretty much simple. They just do work. Um, good to see your air defenses are protected. Um, awesome job with that. You're protecting your resources in the middle as well. Good job there. Um, your cannons look like they're 
pretty well upgraded. Obviously, at Town Hall 8, you can go up to 10 with them, so you have three more levels for them. Um, so definitely work on those while you're, yeah, there's a level 9 one. Definitely work on those while you're um, waiting on your wizards and your mortars to upgrade. Um, <laughs> and there's your Barbarian King. He just came to life. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I like the layout of it. I think the biggest thing would be to take your Town Hall out, put your clan castle inside, um, and work on upgrading your wizard towers. Otherwise, I mean, everything looks pretty pretty good. You know, splash damage is the most important. You know that. Um, everything's triangulated pretty well. I imagine that this wizard tower is maybe right here where this gold mine is um, normally. So that's good. That's a good spot for it. Overall, good base. Work on upgrading your walls um, and take that town hall out um, because it doesn't look like you're a trophy base right now. So next, we're going to go to Dutch Gladiator and look at Julian Hoy. All right, Julian, you've been asking for a little bit, so here you go. Um, Dutch Gladiator. Um, and it was, I think it was the top one. Julian Hoy, let's find you. Here you are, right there in the middle, Julian. Sorry for the noise in the background. Um, I'm outside right now on my lunch break, drinking some coffee. I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but I just felt like having some. So there. Um, all right, so Julian, you are a Town Hall level eight. You have a level three Barbarian King. Good job with that. That's that's a lot of Dark Elixir. Um, so good job with that. Um, first off, once again, I love seeing the Clan Castle in the middle. It's empty right now, so make sure you request. Um, let's see what all your defenses are at. Your mortars all level six. Awesome job with that. Wizard towers level four, level four, level four. Um, definitely bump those up before anything else it looks like you're bumping up these archer tower or that archer tower um definitely go splash damage first i know archer towers look sweet when they're upgraded like all of yours right now are wow almost all of them are level nine so good job with that but i definitely would have changed the order of that and i would have done my um i would have done my wizards first um your cannons are at level nine looks like all of them are yeah, good job with that, too. You can get those up to level 10. Um, it looks like you're upgrading pretty well. I imagine you've been at Town Hall 8 for, I don't know, a couple weeks now in order to get all this stuff up. Um, it looks good. Definitely a uh, definitely a farming base with all your resources protected and centralized. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything that I would change about the layout of it. I imagine that your Teslas are ones right there next to that mortar and ones right there next to that air defense. Um, and then maybe one is next to this air defense or that wizard. Um, so I like the layout of it. It looks really good. You could also have it outside right there. Whatever, that's beside the point. Um, you have a lot of elixir right now, and, yeah, okay, something is researching. You can see the little glow inside of there. Um, so good job with that. Researching is so necessary, um, to have it constantly going because it takes so freaking long for some of the troops. Um, but anyways, that's sidetracked. Awesome base. I like the layout. You have your walls upgraded. Um, your mortars are really well upgraded. Everything's upgraded well. I would definitely focus on wizards, uh, wizard towers before the archer towers um, and the cannons. So do that, and then you'll be good, man. Looks like you've upgraded really, really well. So awesome work. Um, Julian, you're crushing it right now, man. And last but not least, let's go over here to the Paradox Machine. <laughs> Paradox Machine Search. And homeboy's name is Ghost, which is actually a pretty sweet name. I'm surprised it wasn't already taken for you. Um, Ghost, all right, let's go check yours out. All right, so Ghost. Looks like you have a centralized clan castle as well with a whole bunch of archers in it. I love to see that. All level 5, awesome job there. Um, good job centralizing it. You are Town Hall level 9, um, which is different from everyone else. You have a level 3 Dark Elixir storage. Good job. Um... Mortars look like they're a little bit low for Town Hall 9. I would definitely work on upgrading those, um, as well as the Wizards. Wizards are really, really low. Yeah, you got to get those up. Those are those are much more important than um, your other defenses. It looks like you might have rushed just a little bit to get to Town Hall 9 um, for the Expos up here, which are level 2, currently going to level 3, so I guess you're focusing on those, um, which I've, I've never had an Expo, so I don't... Um, I know that they annoy me whenever I'm on defense, um, so or whenever I'm attacking. But definitely focus on your wizard towers. You got to get those up. Um, you could be at level seven, I believe, at Town Hall nine, level six. Sorry. Um, 
So get those up. They do ridiculous damage, um, as you know. Same with the mortars. I do like seeing them triangulated. You've laid everything out really, really well. The placement of the wizards, the placement of the mortars are good. Um, the placement of these air defenses are good as well. Um, you have two of them pretty well centralized, covering most of the base. So good job with that. Um, you might could upgrade those to level 4, um, but level 3 isn't bad. Um, I don't really know where you're going to put your expos. I'm actually really interested with where you plan on putting those because they're going to need to be centralized unless you leave them there, which I don't know why you would. Um, someone could take them out with a bunch of giants and a healer because that's out of range of healers. So I hope that you're not leaving them there. I'm not sure if you are or not. Um, but overall, Ghost, it looks like a pretty good base. I love the layout. I like to see that your walls are upgraded pretty well. Um, you have your Archer Tower and your Barbarian King on opposing sides. Um, looks like you might have a trap in here, which I like to see. I love when people use spring traps effectively. I believe that you might have one right there behind that archer tower as well, and then behind that one. Um, so good job with that. I would really just focus on your wizards next. Get those up, um, because they do awesome damage to minions and goblins and anything that comes in their way. Um, so, yeah, man, the base design's awesome. Just focus on your splash damage, and I think you'll be good to go. So good work. Um, for anyone else who wants their base reviewed, make sure that you leave a comment only on the base review videos um, because that's where I'm going to be looking. I'm not going to look on my other videos for those kinds of comments when I'm, uh, when I'm getting ready to uh, make a video. So make sure that you do that. Um, and as always, guys, thanks for subscribing. You guys are so much cooler than me. Um, and yeah, keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Tell your friends about me, guys. I'm really trying to get up there in the subscribers. I'm putting in work, um, as you guys know. Uh, so make sure you like and subscribe, and keep calm and clash on. I'll see you guys later. Peace.